Hey y'all. So I wanted to make this video to give y'all an update on my situation, why I haven't been on trail and why I haven't been making videos. Um, so let's first start off with um, my last video 107. So after that video, um, the next day, it, it ended up getting into the teens. And um, so I got up, packed up, um, started recording, did all my, my thing. Um, it was a pretty windy day. It never got above um, freezing. And so I was hiking for a while and I had stepped on this rock and my whole um, left leg just came down pretty hard. And right after that, it that's when I felt my knee really good right after that. I had been having knee problems the whole time since I had been back. But that, um, when I fell there, I just really felt it good. So I hiked for a little while and I ended up getting off um, going into the Wattstool Inn. And it's just this little um, motel in the middle of nowhere. So when I got there, I went to record um, or to edit my videos of that day. And I realized that my video footage was all messed up. Um, like when I went there, when I had thought I was stopping the or starting the video, I was stopping it. And when I was starting it, it I was stopping it. So the all the filming was just crazy. I couldn't even make a video out of it. So I started looking at my phone, and I noticed every time I'd turn on my camera, the um, app would just come on. It would record for a little bit, and then come go and then turn off. And it got to the point where it wouldn't even. It would just come on the camera and then shut off. And I think it must have been from the freeze that night. I slept with my phone, but it ended up being uncomfortable. So I kind of pulled it to the side and just put it next to me. Um, so anyways, we did some research and we I ended up fixing it. It seems like it's working fine now. So anyways, while when I was at the Wattstool Inn, I ended up the... One of the sons there of the owners was telling me that he could help maybe if I slack packed it would help with my knee and um, he could pick, drop me off and then pick me up and bring me back to the hotel and um, so I went with that he gave me like a running vest to use so I did a couple slack pack days and the last one I, I did a short one like a 13 then I did a 17.6 and that last one really got me good. And I ended up having to take two days off at the Wattstool Inn. And then I slack packed two really short days into Delville and stayed into Delville. So once I got into Delville, I went to the Super 8. And I ended up slack packing an eight mile um, while I was staying there. And um, then I ended up having to take another day off because of my knees. And so it was Christmas Eve. I went out. I left Delville and I was planning on hiking a 15. I got maybe like three miles, not even three miles. And my knee just, it was those stabbing pains. I couldn't hike no more. There was no way. And um, so I ended up hiking. There was an urgent care in Delville. So I ended up hiking to the urgent care in Delville. They did some um, x-rays, some tests. And the lady there, she's pretty sure that I tore my meniscus or definitely did something to it um, because of the pain. I was telling her where it's at, how it was feeling, kind of like bone on bone, bone, on bone grinding. Um, so she told me that she could get me um, an appointment for a referral to an MRI, but it would be not, it wasn't going to be till the fourth. So it means I would have had to stay there like six days or something like that at a hotel which honestly I can't I can't afford to do that and so I had to call my wife she came and picked me up from Delville drove me back home again so we could um, go see a um, orthopedic doctor to find out about my knee so now I'm back here and it looks like it's gonna be you know I'm gonna have to go in and see a doctor and they're going to have to do a few exams and they'll decide if they want to give me an MRI. So it looks like it's going to be a, a, a thing that's going to take at least three weeks, if not longer. And then who knows what they're going to tell me after that. Um, so f 
for me personally, if it's going to take that long, three to four to even six weeks till I can get back on trail, I'm just, I just don't want to get back on. I don't want to have to go through just starting over again. It was hard enough last time. So the dilemma comes to this. My knee's been feeling a lot better, definitely. I feel a little bit, but not like it was. I've been on the elliptical doing, I did like two miles this morning um, on the elliptical and I felt, I didn't feel any knee pain. So I'm really thinking about just getting back on trail and um, dealing with the pain the best I can and just hoping that I can, um, and maybe using a better um, uh, compression knee um, sleeve so that's the dilemma right now. It's either wait a while and I'm just going to call it a hike and just deal with it. Um, of course, I'm disappointed or get back on within next sometime next week and deal with the pain and just go with it and see how far I can get and just accept that, you know, it, it's going to be painful some days. So here's the thing, though, about getting back on. So me and my wife have been talking about it i live everyone knows i live really close to the trail less than an hour from the southern terminus springer we were contemplating and honestly i'm not super wild about this idea but it makes a lot of sense we were thinking that i could just turn my southbound hike into a flip-flop i know i know <laughs> I give flip floppers a lot of grief, but I've also said, you know, it's the freest way to do a through hike. And the thing is that I don't like about flip flopping is you stop somewhere and then you go somewhere and then you come back to that point. Um, but here's the thing. I'm already here. I had to come here basically because I could not afford to take a week off and spend in a hotel. There's just no way I can afford to do that. So um, that's the thing. I could start here and hike northbound to Delville. Um, and if something happens to my knee, my wife won't have to drive six hours to pick me up. And she won't have to drive six hours to drop me off either. So that's one of the pros to starting, to doing a flip-flop is if something happens, I'm not too far away from home. The con of course is I've already hiked that um, section. I mean, God, I've hiked from Springer to Fontana numerous times but i've already hiked that whole section northbound and the biggest con is it won't be a southbound through hike anymore which i don't know you know it's i don't know so but a big pro too is um if i did start back in delville southbound i'll end up hitting you know a nice size maybe a couple um northbound bubbles on my way into georgia It'll be crowded once I finish my through hike. So that's another thing. And um, so there's pros and cons about it. Um, right now, I think the way my wife has been talking, she kind of likes the idea of me doing just a flip-flop. Me, I understand um, why she does, and I see the benefits of doing a flip-flop. I really do, especially if something happens with my knee, I'm not far from home, and I won't be running into the northbound bubble, which would be huge. Um, but it would be cool, too, in a way, just to see all the hikers and, you know, um, but it'll be crowded. Like, I won't be able to depend on shelters being there, um, or even hostels will be filled up when I get done. And you know the weather's going to be bad, so you're going to want to duck into shelters and hostels a lot. Um, so yeah, uh, that's the biggest thing. The biggest con, it's gonna be a flip-flop hike, not a southbound. And the biggest pro is a combination that if something does go wrong with my knee, I'll be here and I won't be running into huge crowds when I finish. Uh, finishing in Delville will definitely be less anticlimactic than finishing in Amicola Falls, of course. So it's a huge thing. It's a huge um, dilemma for me. And um, the reason I'm making this video, big reason, is I need y'all's input. I, 
I really want everyone's input on this um, decision. I want to be able to, you know, um, read as many different perspectives as I can. And I know ultimately it's what I should do, but to be honest, I'm really, really conflicted about it. So I need, um, you know, I need some input on this. And um, yeah, so I'm going to end the video with this. Um, Y'all think about this and tell me what you think. And I want you to be honest, brutally honest with me. And um, except for the knee thing, if I decide to go out and finish this hike, um, I know some people are going to be like, you should stop. You should just wait and wait and finish it later. I don't want to do that. I really don't. It's either I'm going to go out next week, sometime next week, or I'm just calling it. And um, that's how it's going to be. So, um, more the input I want is about just finishing the southbound or doing a flip flop. And um, yeah, so thank you all for um, watching this and listening to this. And thank you all for your, um, your great comments and support. And man, I keep getting more and more subscribers and my videos keep getting better views. And I get unbelievable great comments. I do get some trolls about me. Um, my pace lately but you know i mean it is what it is um so yeah um thank y'all for watching this video um you know give me some input let me know what you think and i will definitely um do an update video and let you know what i decided to do thank y'all all right